Hey everyone, welcome to the DroidDemos.com. I'm sure a lot of you have had this problem in the past. It's one of the main questions I get uh, for root users. One of the first things they ask, probably in the top three questions that I get, how do you get rid of the carrier bloatware on your Android phone? Uh, if you've gotten a new computer uh, lately, or even not lately, um, ever, uh, you've likely seen a lot of different things installed. Back in the olden days, it was a bunch of different offers for things such as AOL and Earthlink Internet, things like that. Um, same thing is happening on uh, phones now um, for Android, uh, but even uh, just carrier stuff is just a pain um, to have. And one of the main problems with these is that they run in the background and take up a bunch of battery life. Uh, um, if you've listened to me before, you know that I don't like using um, task killers because these apps will just start right back up in the background and that takes up even more battery starting back up. So, you gotta get rid of it. Um, now there is an app uh, right here, you can see it, Bloat Freezer, and it does one thing and it does it uh, very well and it'll allow you to get rid of these things. Um, What's good about it is that it doesn't uninstall it, but it just freezes it. And what it's going to do, that does, is basically to the phone, for all intents and purposes, it looks like it's uninstalled, but the app is still there. So it's not running, it's not doing anything, and so it'll allow you to install it back on there if you want it. So if you have a Sprint uh, HTC phone uh, with Android, you got all these things such as Sprint TV, Sprint Football, Sprint Navigation, things that a lot of people want to get rid of because they take up space, but sometimes they find that they want to use it later on. Sprint TV has some cool things on it that you can use, so if you want to just install that later, you can just uh, go on uh, what they call defrosting it and put it right back onto the phone with no problem. It'll be just like it was before you froze it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open up the app bloat freezer and when you first open it you'll have to get give it super user permissions all you have to do is just click allow and then you'll be able to get rid of whatever you want um, you have all of your thing, uh, apps right here uh, even the ones that don't show up in the um, app drawer right here all the other things will still be in here so you'll be able to get rid of those as well uh, things such as all these um, APST uh, download manager, things like that that aren't going to show up in the app drawer but that you might want to get rid of. I don't recommend getting rid of them if you don't know what they are. I would recommend just to just stick to what you can see in the app drawer because those, those are the main ones that are going to be taking up battery life and space. Um, so don't mess with these unless you know, know what you're doing so if you haven't seen it in the app drawer just leave it like it is. But for other things such as Adobe Flash, uh, I don't know why you would want to get rid of that, it's Flash. Uh, but Amazon MP3, a lot of people don't use it. App sharing, uh, Flickr, Facebook, um, and we can go down here to the Sprint apps. Uh, we can get rid of those. All you have to do is just select it and click freeze and then that app will be gone um, from your device. So you see there it's now in blue. Uh, it's got the little bloat freezer uh, icon next to it that'll show you that it's not on, uh, not running on the phone anymore. So if we go back here to the app drawer, I just got rid of Sprint Navigation. You'll now see that Sprint Navigation no longer shows up in the app drawer. It's not going to run, it's not going to start up for all intents and purposes. The app is uninstalled. Now what's good about this app um, for freezing is that you can put everything back if you want to. Uh, one of the things with some phones and some carriers, depending on what you're on, if you have any system apps uninstalled or deleted, uh, your phone can't get uh, over-the-air updates in the future. Um, so if you're one of those people that likes to try the latest, um, if you've used Unrevoked forever and you've prevented your phone from uh, not being able to be rooted again and you want to go ahead and do an update with bloat freezer you can just put all the apps right back and you're able to get updates in the future um, if you uh, want to do that so that's bloat freezer like I said it's just a simple app it does one thing but it does it very well uh, it's just a buck in the market um, so very cheap definitely worth it and um, something that you definitely want to do when you first root your phone so you can get rid of all of these things that are going to be taking up battery life and space on your Android phone. 
Again, this has been the droiddemos.com. Thanks for watching.